Uh, what's up everybody and welcome back to part two of the MKDIR and um, this is uh, I'm just gonna cover a different way of doing things right so 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 far you've seen that we went using the MKDIR command right and then we just specified the directory that we want to click another the directory and right then we created that uh, so in this video I'm gonna show you another way of actually doing it in such a way that you can create unlimited number of um directories within that directory without actually just having to go to there and you can just do it um one way without having to have space and then another one space another one space another one right and um yeah so they were going to do it right so uh there's um a command which you can run so it's more like a manual that gives you information on a command right just as i've said there's an application right and then it does have an a manual that gives you information of a command so um in your terminal just type men and then the command you want to get to learn about so this is mkdir right and then this is what we have so this is the command right mkdir is for making directories right and then um you get to see the rookie okay, cool so there's this uh bit of an option so it's optional you can have it or you can choose not to have it and then they give you a description of those uh, optional commands right and this is the name of the directory so in this case you see that you can have minus m which is just mode so you set file mode as in uh change mode and i will teach you more about this command as you move further so let's not rush into that so the command i'm going to be using is minus p which stands for parents right which stands for parents right make parent directories as needed right so you get to specify the parent directory and then inside there is its um children so to say right uh so that's what we're gonna do uh, and then you get to see that who actually wrote uh this man or this manual i guess so that's the person right so um this was written was it written 2019 okay i don't know what that this date is uh specifying that or specifying the release of this but nonetheless we're not interested in that so just press q then you're back right so what we're gonna do right is um we're gonna create a new directory right we're gonna create directories that don't exist so so far we have java list we have morex decoder and then we have uh python master we have um youtuber right so um let's create a directory called morex and then inside there uh we'll create a uh, multiple directories from there right so it's mk dir and then it's parents right parents right cool and then from there what we want to create is a directory called morex then inside there we want to have multiple directories right so it's open bracket curly bracket and close curly bracket and then inside we're gonna have our directories comma separated right and then in this case i'm gonna create maybe the music that i love um my favorite books uh my favorite meals uh my favorite movies maybe tv shows tv shows right and then we're done so we use tree again to list what we have just created right so this is the directory that we created right this is the directory that we have created right and then in this directory we created multiple directories right you will see that i have morex and then inside morex i have books and then i have meals i have movies i have music and i have tv shows right that's what i create today right it's morex and then inside there we have books we have meals and movies and tv shows you can actually use this command which is way much convenient that the one we just have to put a space and a space and a space because you know that this is your directory and then inside this directory you have this bunch of directories so you group them using curly brackets and comma separated for each directory right and then inside that directory so basically if we were to go back to that command you can just use the up arrow to go to the previous command right and then you're gonna press the left arrow say in music um you go then you put slash and then maybe you have house uh you have house right so if you have different uh different uh music right 
you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna group them with curly brackets or curly braces and then inside there you're gonna specify the genres that you love so i love gospel um i'm also a house fan uh hip-hop uh just a rap in this case and then we press enter right and then go to tree right so um you will see that um before right we created the directory and it was uh just music right so music there was nothing inside but then now what we created is um we went to morex so it already exists it's not gonna re uh create the directory because it already exists right inside there we have music and then inside music we had these directories right you will see that inside music we have these directories these are the music that i like i love gospel house rebel we just to say the list that's not really what i love um so to say like the whole list the, the list just goes on because i tend to just love a lot of music so i don't really have that much preference except for that just some music which you just can't listen to of course but yeah this is just an example nothing much right so say you wanted to do everything for all these all at the same time right so take it step by step right cool take it step by step right so we were in that directory called morex right cool so we can still go back to morex and then go to what to books and then uh we go to meals we go to movies right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to um movies and see tv shows as well um cool so it's up arrow to go to your uh command history right and then um so already you have uh music gospel or that so you can actually delete that if you want um so since i'm just using a previous command i can just delete that and leave it as it is right so this is how i created everything and um in this case i can even just delete this and okay let's just do it from scratch right so mkdir minus p right and then the directory i want to go to which is morex right inside morex i have a lot of directories right if you just keep pressing tab it will tell you all the directories that you have so we want to go through which directories again we want to go to uh movies and uh tv shows right tv shows right then inside uh movies uh we're gonna press slash so that's you inside the directory and then inside the, the movies that you want so in this case i have action i love action um romance so romantic yes a romance okay cool or romantic uh, romantic and then yeah we have to laugh comedy comedy cool that's what we have right and then we go to tv shows um same thing in this case uh okay let's just put um names instead of just doing that so we have money heist We have prison break. Um, flesh. I call it flesh or the other one. I think it's flesh. Is this one right? I think so. Wow. Don't kill me. Don't 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 matter me. English is just wow. It tends to run away when you're coding. Then you press enter right, and then you do three. And then you will see right so this is what we did right so we went to morex that's the directory and then we targeted morex right we, no we targeted movies right and then inside movies i want to create the type of movies i want movies i want is action that's action and then we have comedy we have romantic of course you will see them that the order is not the same as the one i have there because it orders them alphabetically right so you will see that it orders everything even though i don't uh, name my directories in order it's gonna order them directly like um it's gonna organize them alphabetically so so that's 
movies right and then i have that and then i went to tv shows and then that's what i added i added flash as i've said this might be grammatically wrong or the spelling might be wrong mind less about that and focus more on the topic at hands right and then we have money heist and then we have prison break so that's basically it in terms of um directories right um one last other thing that i can say we can actually cover is so you've seen that i'm creating a directory with a space but i'm replacing a space with just an underscore right so what if i just want to create a directory without a space so to do that um we'll use um mkdir and then this can work also using minus p or just that right so in this case let's just say um rex decoder right so i'm gonna use rex and then i use that command so it's a slash right play a uh, space and then i use the and then code right and then after that i use a different um slash so basically that's how you create um a directory with a space right and then you will see when we check our um, directory where's that directory oh, yes our directory the one with the space right so it's more like the coder that's basically how you do it right so it's just the first letter or the first word and then slash i'd say that's a back is that a backslash or forward slash i don't know how we normally name them but I say that's a backslash because it's leading it's leaning to the back right that's the backslash then a backslash and then a forward slash hopefully i hope i'm saying it right otherwise it's the other way around but in this case that's just the slash that you have and that's how you create uh directories right um as we go further we'll cover most of this part so remember what i showed you a man mk dir right and then you've seen that uh, you can do a lot more so so far we've used um parents we're gonna get to use verbals we're gonna get to use minus z uh all that is time goes off right uh but in pretty much that's basically what we have while in this next tutorial we're gonna get to learn how to actually um rename a directory right so you've done creating a directory how do you actually rename a directory right that's what we're gonna get to learn hope you guys learned and you guys enjoyed and i shall see you guys in the next tutorial